and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Rakdos midrange. We have a pretty nice looking donation deck here from Joive where we are going to be, uh, we're, we're basically, I almost called this Rakdos aggro, but we're not really playing like the one drop aggro creature. So I went with midrange. We're basically trying to uh, get ahead and finish the game off pretty quickly while having some good interaction. So we have four main deck duress, which honestly I think is a good call. Like there's duress is just so good against so many decks. It's basically good against everybody. Like there's not really decks that are, that duress is not good against um, that don't have any targets. And the thing that one thing that duress is uh, pairs really 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 well with Chandra is when you have like like uh, four mana. You know maybe you play like something like this on turn three or something. But four mana, like with Chandra, you get to play it, minus, get to duress again. They just, they pair really well together. So yeah, we're duressing, trying to take removal spells, and then we're just having our, our Butcher, our War Boss, our Judith. Like those are our main threats here. Obviously, Rekindling Phoenix is just the kind of card that uh, is really hard to answer for a lot of decks. And so we got four of those, and we have the duresses to protect them. Uh, and uh, and we have these other aggressive cards that our opponents probably use in their removal on like these things, and then Phoenix will just stick. So this looks like a pretty a pretty good one here, one that I'm pretty interested in playing. So that's what we got. That's what we're going to be doing. Let's give it a try. Rakdos midrange. So we got a donation deck here. So just like all our donation decks, we'll go ahead and just head on over to the traditional constructed queue. Spend our thousand gold. See how we do. Let's give this a try. All right, we can definitely try this out with the Dreadhorde Butcher. Hopefully, we get a hit in with the Dreadhorde Butcher on the second turn, or like the next turn, like where we get the light of the stage to go with it. Hmm. Double Llanowar Elf. Well, I can tell you I don't think they really want to block with a Llanowar Elf, because then it will just... Wow, or they do. Because we'll just kill both of them. But I guess they do want to trade. Alright, we'll take that trade. Crab people. Crab people. We should probably cast down some crab people. I like Chandra with light at the stage. That's pretty nice. Chandra it makes it very easy to hit the opponent. And then light up the stage. I like those two together. Hmm. Speaking of light up, I think I'm just gonna cast that. Perfect. The absolute perfect light up the stage. Okay. So the the problem with playing Phoenix here is then they get to uh, adapt to the Growth Chamber Guardian if I play Phoenix. If I play Chandra, I can cast down the Guardian, but then of course our Chandra is going to die to Phoenix. But that's probably not that big of a of a deal. Let's get this. Let's make sure they don't get to adapt. It's better than having a plan. Basically anything. Yeah, I like to think on my feet. I wouldn't mind too much if they use a removal spell on to kill Chandra. Ugh, that one's a little worse. I will put 
just to, to help protect the phoenixes and get rid of a removal spell from their hand. That, though, is not a card I want to see. That was not one I was really expecting too much either, to be honest. Hey, Kranos! Welcome, everybody in Brazil, watching. Welcome to the stream. Oh no. Stop. Alright, turns out Mythic Rares are good. And this should be a Mythic Rare. This is not going to be an easy game to win. Of course, all they have to do is activate Nissa and attack. If we had just a little bit more life, we could stabilize. That turn, that turn three that we, or the turn four, whenever we missed our fourth land drop, and I didn't get to play Phoenix, and I had to just play that light of the stage that turn, that really hurt. Not just having the Phoenix just to be able to play. We may have been able to stabilize if it wasn't for that. I think they're trying to activate Hellkite right now. Oh, no. They have Thrash. So Warboss Chandra, hmm, it's gonna be kind of tough. Definitely need these cast downs. Maybe it's just to light up the stage. If I want to keep the war bosses in here. It looks like we just have like a ton of threes, but we actually have more twos because like those are all four ofs. All right, cool. Yeah, bring those cast downs in. Those are definitely going to be doing a lot of good stuff for us. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's no no special animation with Simic Ascendancy. It's sad. I, I felt like pretty good about that game whenever you know we killed two land war elves with the dreadhorde butcher. I was feeling pretty good. Honestly. Hmm. Dread Dreadhorde Butcher just never gets through.
All right, so that's what we had to do. Couldn't really just kill the land world there. We need to get the butcher in play, kill whatever else they play, and then start getting this butcher going. Close your eyes, breathe, and listen to the sounds of the wild. My, my, how you've grown. All right, looking good. Hmm. Yeah, it's just Phoenix. Phoenix is just a better card. All right, no five five, please. Okay, that's fine. You can deal with that. It's a strange and magnificent world. Behold, nature's true power. So if I attack them, we're dealing nine to them. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Put them down to five. So Dreadhorde Butcher is lethal if, if Dreadhorde Butcher dies. Yeah, can't exile. Yep, exactly. Lava Coil doesn't kill the Butcher. The land fights for us. The Hellkite's kind of rough, though. I guess I can't really attack with... with Phoenix. I can't let... They're saying good game. I don't know. I'll say good game back. I don't want like to them to be able to untap here and be able to kill my other Phoenix. Oh, now we're good to go. Okay. Still. Hmm. Can we take out War Boss and still win? Can I play like duress and light up the stage? It does not seem like a good matchup, especially on the draw for War Boss. But you know, we've seen Vivian Nissa removal spells. I kind of want to duress. What do you think of this, Joy? Do you think this or or War Boss? I could see us not having enough gas by going like this and, you know, needing to put the war boss back in. Maybe like two to rest, one elder spell. I'll give Joy just, just a minute for the... The stream delay. Have a 
Planeswalker, Fear the Creature. Well, that doesn't... All right, I'm, I'm kind of one more boss for an Elder Spell. That's what we're going to do. We're going to play three war boss. Because Nissa making a whole lot of creatures is a little rough. So we'll keep this. We'll get rid of a Dragon Skull Summit. You know, keep the Swamp because it'll keep these things coming into play untapped. Yeah, we got a couple of removal spells to start with. Butchers are awesome. Especially that they didn't have the removal right there. Hey, what's up, Cobb? Thanks for the resub there. Oh, Welcome to the channel. I really appreciate that support. We are halfway to our sub goal. Now, sub number five. Thank you, Cobb. All right, so if I go with the other Butcher... Oh, wait, we got, we got Chandra. Hey, we got... Two more subscribers. Y'all are awesome. I'm totally the best pyromancy student. All right, good night, Rex. So Yo, everybody, get some hype in the chat for our new subs. Kyota and Nazar. Y'all are amazing. Thanks, Kyota. Get into that sub goal. There we go. That gets us up to seven. We're almost there. How the sub goals matter is whenever we hit 20 total sub goals throughout, you know, different days and everything, then I do a 12 hour stream. And so we're now, we are at eight sub goals towards our next 12 hour stream before, before today. So this would be number nine if we get there. Alright, so no Phoenix for us because we got the tap land, but honestly it's probably pretty good to get the Dreadhorde Butcher in play. So I don't mind using the, the Cruelty because we have Chandra that can minus and replay Cruelty if they have a bigger creature, if they have a, a Phoenix or a, or a Dragon. Come on, opponent. I, I shocked in here. I shocked in here for a reason. Looking really good right now. They can deal with all this stuff. Say hi to my fiery friend. Unlikely. All right, want to know? 
pretty good looking games there. <clears throat> Man, Chandra is so good. Dreadhorde Butcher, Chandra, removal spells to clear the way. Yep, we could redo Lightning Strike and attack with the Phoenix. You know, maybe they have instant speed removal for the Phoenix or something. Basically just kind of put a, a whole lot of stuff out there. Hey, GG, Starman. So you're playing the, the Gruul, Gruul midrange deck, right? And, and how you liking the deck? Cinder Baron Swamp. I'd prefer not to draw any more Swamps. We have to draw a land, draw a red source. Not Swamps, but... Uh, enchantment. Yeah, this is Red Black Burn. Whoa. They are really burning. What's the top card? Okay, so their top card was Cinder Barons, so it just gets exiled. Because you can only cast with with uh, the Blasting Cannons. You can cast other cards. You can't... Um, you can't play them, so like it doesn't play lands. I don't think I'm going to shock in here for the lightning strike. I think I want to do that against them. I guess they could have plates walkers. Who knows? All right, we're looking for light at the stage. Maybe our best card to see, but they do have the the blasting cannons going, so they are definitely ahead of us. All right, so cruelty. They don't even let you see the other cards. You have to do this. Cruelty, Cruelty, Dreadhorde Arcanist. Yeah. Alright, so Cruelty. I, I don't really want to give them cards. I don't want to give them anything. Drawn creatures. Drawn well. Yeah. Three mana, triple lightning bolt. No, clicking the reveal cards over here didn't... It wouldn't... It didn't work. It didn't let me see them. I had to exit and everything. The artifact, that's just a locket. So, uh, three mana... It, it's like a mana rock, but then you can also pay four and sack it to draw two. Are they just not going to cast the Rampage? I guess not. They're just going to keep it exiled. 
I doesn't I guess it wouldn't really do too much anyway Chandra we are gonna be able to rampage ourselves to sack to sacrifice the butcher if we would like to all right well now because see yeah like over here you can't clicking over here doesn't do anything so you can't actually see him so it's a shiv and fire and something else oh it's a coil sure now you can click on him that's not designed very well maybe we need to play some more sword point diplomacy to take advantage of that Okay, we know it's not a commander deck. So they they played two sword point diplomacies. So they have more than just one ofs. Okay, di sword point diplomacy is sweet. That's good. Uh, moment of craving can kill some stuff, gain some life. Hmm. Cruelty gets rid of Phoenix. I guess Cruelty instead of Cast Down. Other Cruelty against instead of uh, Rampage. Yeah, I, I named this mid-range instead of aggro because we don't have any one-mana creatures. So that's why I went mid-range. Certainly an aggressively slanted mid-range deck. This is a rough spot. Cause like if they if I don't attack, I can have my butcher trade with their butcher. But if I don't attack I mean if they just have removal, that doesn't work. I guess even if I attack if they have removal like attacking doesn't really make remove them having removal be better. Dreadhorde Arcanist with uh, Duress is pretty sweet. Uh, opponent, yeah, opponent has a lot of cards. So 5, 6, 7, 10, so 94. Twenty-four. Twenty-four lands. That is not very many.
Not good. Well, let's give us another try. Yes, Flynn, it is. So I, I only play in the, the, the competitive events or the, um, Four and ranked. Those are the only two things that I play. Okay. <clears throat> we got three lands, three spells, and we have light at the stage. Of course, last time though. Last time, I think we kept three lands, four or four lands, three spells, and just drew all lands after that. So we'll see. Come on, deck. We're gonna stop drawing lands eventually. We know one lands at the bottom also. That's a quarter. <laughs> Through nine cards, we've drawn 25% of our lands. Good turn there for our opponent with the, the field shock. Um, makes it so we don't really get to... Like, if I cast Light at the stage there, we could have hit, like, two more expensive things, and we wouldn't have been able to cast both of them. You That's a good card. Fire, huh? Let's light it up. Hmm. So we had the ability to maybe uh, have Chandra recast Light at the Stage 2 if we needed to. No, Angry Ben, there's not. Gotta deal with the Chandra. We're hoping to just find Angras Rampage. Make them sacrifice. That would be ideal.
Hmm. You know what's better than having a plan? Basically, anything. Go get him, buddies. It's gonna be really hard to win. The Chandra, we just gotta draw Ingress Rampage here. Chandra, remember that spell. Well, Next time, that was a disaster. You're toast. Ugh. This is just going to be bad for you. Obnexus Cruelty. Nope. I know, Kitty, it's not looking good for us. Not them keep drawing these Obnixus cruelties. Ugh. They've seen two? How can I find one? Exile two of my phoenixes. Alright, lightning strike. Lightning strike. That's a lightning strike. That's a lightning strike. I'm happy as a hellion to start some fires. Whew. Feel like we stole this one. Mother Ludi always say. Feel like we fire stole that one. Fire. Wow. Whew. That was. Yeah, that that was some theft right there. Grand grand larceny. GG's. Aether rail. Um, hmm. I would definitely be keeping if we had mountain mountain.
Or if this deck could use one more mountain and one less swamp. We have the same number of like single black sources as single red sources, and I don't think that's right with us having Chandra and everything. Three mana Chandra. I think we could use another red source. I'll go with 17 instead of 16. Anyway, uh, I'll give this a try though. Yeah, I'm keeping. Sorry, I was just looking at the deck. I'm thinking we could use a 17th red source though. With three mana Chandra, you usually want to play three mana Chandra and you know maybe get another red, you know, minus for a red source like that. Or minus for a red card, you know, like a light up the stage or a burn spell or whatever. And there's not really double black, basically anything, but there's like triple red. Reasons to have triple red. Yeah, we yeah. That's a small thing that I would certainly recommend is getting taking out a swamp for another mountain. You don't have to have black on turn one for duress. You don't you don't need a duress on turn one. It's a, it's almost always better to wait than actually cast duress on turn one. If we're playing like one drop creatures, you'd want you'd want it on turn one. That's an easy fix, though. <clears throat> Take out a swamp for a mountain. It's an easy fix. But that's something that I recommend doing if you're watching this later, wanting to play the deck. Alright, the Lightning Strike, Rampage, plan not going to work. Hmm. Five sixes are really, really big. So Flame Sweep can kill a bunch of zombies, but also kills like our war boss and stuff. Are we supposed to just try to be fast here? I guess it's hard to be fast against Golos and Cavalier Thorns and Krasis and all that kind of stuff. No, I mean this like honestly with with Chandra with when you have like a, a double costed three drop, you really want seventeen of that that color. And with Chandra doing these things also minusing you kind of want three red at times but we never really need two black ever so we need to have more red sources and less black sources in here we don't want 16 and 16. But yeah this this could this could be a bad matchup i could see that um yeah this one could be kind of tough uh cast downs do kill the big creatures actually let's get these in here Let's do that. Yeah, it, I think it's maybe too late if they if they escape shift for just tons of zombies. Maybe that's too late. I'm not gonna go with the, the flame sweep because 
Flame Sweep's the kind of card that like we could like start ahead and not be able to finish our opponent off because we're just like sitting with this Flame Sweep in our hand. But then again, the game can certainly get to a spot where I'm thinking, man, I wish we had a Flame Sweep to kill their things because it's going to take us another turn for this Phoenix to kill them or something like that. Thanks, King Shmoo. Love having Dreadhorde Butcher on the play. Love that. It's not a bad idea taking out Shock for Flame Sweep. I think I would rather take out Lightning Strike, because I don't know if they'll really have, like, three toughness things. So I'd rather take out the two mana card. Yeah, this is... Basically our, our best possible hand. Butcher, War Boss, Phoenix, Phoenix. This is this is basically our best possible hand. And we're on the play with the best possible hand. Yeah, we did see our opponent play like this opponent's playing Cavalier of Thorns, we saw that, and Cavalier of Thorns has reach and is super big. That thing's hard to get through. But still, double Phoenix. Very nice. Death Sprout. It's a good ramp card. I sure hope they don't have Cry of the Carnarium. Sure hope they don't. Let's see what they got, though. Just playing a Cavalier of Thorns isn't going to save them because of War Boss. Remember, War Boss adds two power to the battlefield every turn because it puts a 1-1 a one -one into play plus the Mentor. So it's adding two. What do you got over here? Probably concede to the Duress. They have, have to have double removal spell. That's not double removal spell. Oh, I guess. Oh, that makes it 2 2. Okay, okay. Double grow from the ashes in a crisis. Alright, well, they're still alive. Not sure if they're alive anymore. Yeah, yep. Yeah, you get a mouse over the cards, see what they do. It's very 
very user friendly, especially if you're kind of newer and don't don't know what all these cards are doing. Cool. Welcome to the channel, FDE. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hmm. Should have manually tapped the two swamps. So let's see if they have a two mana removal spell. Most likely Assassin's Trophy, I suppose. Could obviously be cast down, anything else. Though, too. Alright, cast down. Alright, what do we got? Just over and over, like, are, are they dead? Are they dead? No, not quite yet. Let's see if we got them this time. Cry the Carnarium would obviously completely wreck us. So I certainly hope they don't have that. Yeah, basically any sweeper. Would get us really bad. Alright, no sweeper. Nah, escape ship would just get him a bunch of T2s there. Alright, so we saw a ton more spells there. In that game than what we saw before. We're going to take out the two Rampages for some Flame Sweeps. And... Going to br definitely bring that other Duress over a Lightning Strike. Game 1, we didn't see like any spells. It was just like all creature ramp and everything. Hey, Starman. Have a good night. Yeah, Omnixil's cruelty being instant speed means you get to get uh, like Night Pack Ambusher and stuff like uh, as in you know with it being an instant instead of Lava Coil, which is sorcery, which can be really important against those flash decks. And you know maybe you run into like the the X five, you know whether it's a, a Wild Growth Walker that after a Jade Light Ranger, then Lava Coil doesn't kill it anymore. Or the charging Monstrosaur. Or anything else like that. Ripjaw Raptor, that's a great one. Yeah, we got 1,132 people in here. Welcome, everybody. Glad to have you here. If y'all are enjoying the stream, consider subscribing to the channel. We need three more subscribers to hit our sub goal for the night. And you get access to those 22 really cool emotes to be able to use in all of the Twitch chats everywhere, including this one.
don't think using strike or cast down on that thing is a good trade for us. So we're just going to hold them. Texas style. Yep, Mono Red's a, a good competitive deck that's easy to make. Hey, Ziddy Waffle with the resub for an entire year. Getting those hype boats in the chat. Thank you so much, Ziddy Waffle. You are a rock star. All right, sub number eight on the day. Only two away now. So yeah, I could cast down and kill the Cavalier of Thorns, but all they're going to do is just get another Cavalier of Thorns or, or even a Krasis or something like that back. Let's take some time to get these Phoenixes in play first before cast downing. Don't love where we're at here, though. I think my opponent has, like, the instant speed removal. The ramp card. Yeah, that card. Death Sprout. Is this a May? That is not a May. Okay, interesting to know. So that if if they have another Death Sprout later, we could like cast down the Cavalier of Thorns in response, and so whatever they put back on top, it gets shuffled because it's not a May. Boo. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, why is this not attacking? Gosh, we're just not I'm not out racing this Cavalier of Thorns. Look at all. I like all these two twos. Uh, why does it have to have this triggered ability? It's already like the first part's already really good. Why does it have to have the die part also? Perfect. There we go. We need some flame sweep action. Glad we got both of those in here and not Angrass Rampage. Since I'm playing light of the stage, I really should be really should play at the play the land out. No, no six mana, Chandra. I should attack first. We'll just use a removal spell on this thing now. Definitely should attack first. Ugh. 
Got four damage in there. It's possible they just cast down it though, going to go into damage. Oh no. Uh. Well, we tried. We were on a mulligan to five. And we tried. All right, we're we're still in it though. We're two and one. And we're still in it. And we're playing until we either win five or lose two. So now one more loss and we're out. So we got to defeat this flying spaghetti monster. Yeah, traditional the traditional draft is very top heavy. You it's it's feast or famine. It costs a lot of gems and if you don't do well in it, you're losing a lot of gems, but if you do well in it, you get a ton of packs and get like, you know, get all your gems back and a ton of packs and it's really good value. So it's but you got to be winning with it, though. No trickster. Uh, they got cutthroat. Yeah, Walker, yeah. I've played Rakdos Aristocrats. I've played a, a Rakdos Aristocrats deck there a couple of times with Priest and Chandra. Yeah, those, those two cards do work very well together. Phoenix. Hey, Boop. Oh, it no, it's been a good night. Yeah, it's been a good one. Not sure what this attack's all about. They just want to use their dive down here. If I block Brineborn Cutthroat, they could have another Trickster, which which gets rid of the. I'm guessing that's what they want me to do is block the Cutthroat, and then they would like Trickster the Phoenix. That's my guess there.
I'm seeing if this draws out a counter so we can resolve Judith. Yeah, it <clears throat> I guess they didn't want to sacrifice their trickster, I suppose. It's like, this is lethal here. Hmm. Okay. I think they could have played that a little differently. So let's get rid of the rampages. Let's bring in the fries and cast downs. I like what our deck's going, like what it has going on here. Honestly, I like the duress, all these cheap removal spells and everything. Like Judith, light up the stage. Those are probably our weaker cards. Judith is pretty good though, with War Boss in particular. With without War Boss, Judith Judith isn't going to be great. What are you thinking here, Joy? I mean, I guess, like, honestly, like, Moment of Craving, Cruelty, like, these are good cards, too. I'm just going to get rid of Light Up the Stage, I think. Cut Duress against the Counterspell deck? I'm gonna break. I'm gonna cut light of the stage. Oh, they're you know like they're like mono blue, so they're gonna be playing like they're playing a lot of counters. I don't th don't really want to cut your ass. No, I mean we need to hit like our four land drops because of rekindling Phoenix. We need to hit our four land drops. So I would I'd be a little worried about going by lowering it going to 23. We need ways to win the game, right? We can't just only play removal. Butcher's good. All right, get a stop on the unstep. Go ahead and strike. Save cast down for Tempest Gens. I want to be able to play like multiple threats in a turn before I'm playing into counter magic.
I know shock would have been better for me, but I, I again, want to be able to, like, double spell. Maybe I should have shocked in and then been able to shock, but... Kasmina's. What is Kasmina's doing over here? Kasmina. Dang it, wish I would have gone with Butcher. Could have shocked the Sailor. Flash creature to block. Well, they should be blocking the 2-1. They only saved one life, but I still have that 2-1 in play. Butcher. Butcher. There we go. Three and one. Yeah, in draft you it automatically gives you as many lands as you want. You can add you can add as many lands. Um you don't you don't have to worry about drafting lands or anything. That was honestly a mistake that I made the very first time I drafted on Magic Online. Uh, it was like World Wake Zendikar, Zen Zen, Zen Zen World Wake, and I didn't know that that was going to be a thing that they were just going to give you lands at the end, and so I was like, uh, like my first pick was Vampire Nighthawk, and it was, a, it was an awesome one, I was, I went into like a red-black deck, but man, I was taking like every swamp and every mountain that showed up, like, you know, like pack three, like pick one, instead of like taking like whatever black vampire rare there was in the pack. I don't remember what it was. It's like some like five drop vampire. Uh, instead, I I went ahead and took uh, <clears throat> shock strike skewer. <laughs> instead, I just took like the mountain in the pack. Yeah, and so I was, I was like, man, how am I going to get, I have to, I was like, all right, I need 40 cards, and so I was like, you know, just taking all the, the lands I could, I was like, how many, how many lands can I take here, because I'm going to need a lot. I'm going with the Butcher instead of Judith, because I want to get this Butcher out of Chain Whirler range. All right, well, didn't get there.
Now I wish I would have played the Judith. Drawing another Judith. And you know, I, I got to like, you know, like eight lands that I that I drafted, and I was like, well, hopefully that's enough. And I'm like, I'm like counting the lands going around the table. I'm like, how is everybody else? Like, there's there's eight drafters here. It's like eight drafters, one land per pack. That's like three lands per per person. Like, how is this even gonna work? I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> and then and then afterwards they're like, oh yeah, you can just add as many lands as you want. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That was my first draft. <laughs> no, I mean I was just playing I was just playing Magic Online, you know, I just like downloaded Magic Online myself and was just playing it. So I, I yeah, I didn't, you know, wasn't I didn't have like anybody else that I was talking to those those drafting or anything, so I didn't have anybody to, there to tell me. I don't want to trade, but it's just kind of always going to trade. Sweet. Basically, the main reason why I'm willing to do it is because we have Folly to be able to get another Butcher back anyway. You know, if we draw land, we just Folly, Butcher. Yeah, I played online before paper, yeah. I don't know why they're playing the Firebrand first. Because now if they, they, they're going to strike Judith, then I just get to kill Firebrand. I'm surprised that they did not kill my war boss. The so debating about, you know, either so like if I don't play war boss, I would be able to folly back like a butcher. <clears throat> okay, so they but then the problem with that is is basically exactly that. They get to keep all their counters on the steamkin. We got a cast down in here. We got a Rampage. Rampage good. Chandra, you need more control. Psh, just let me burn. Tell me if you've seen this one before. And our deck sweet. Theater of Horrors would, yeah, would probably be too, too slow for the main deck. I could see it being a sideboard card, but I could see that. But I, I really don't think Theater of Horrors is that good because of Little Teferi, basically. The matchup that you really want a card like Theater of Horrors would be against, like, the blue-white control deck. But Little Teferi just bouncing it, getting, like, it's pretty tough. So I don't think you really want that card kind of in general. That was a card I really overrated whenever, uh, just whenever preview season was. Um, I thought that Theater Horrors was going to be awesome, but 
I I really discounted how much like Mortify was going to be played and Mortify shutting down enchantments and everything at the time. So Warboss, Judith, cards that aren't usually that great against Mono Red because they trade down with Shock. You want cast downs too? What do you, what do you want to take out? Like, do, do we want to take... But, like, we can't just take out all of our, our threats, right? Because we have to kill them before Frenzy. It's like, what what do you take out here, Joyv? Are we taking out Duress? Taking out Rampage? Okay, yeah, yeah, I like taking out Rampage. I guess Rampage stops Chandra, though. Like, they're... they're uh, yeah, like there, Chandra. Hmm. Then you want to take out one Chandra, one light up the stage? All right. We'll give it a try. Let's do it. Got a lot of removal. And a lot of creatures. Wow, if this was just a mountain, oh, this hand would be great if that was just a mountain. Definitely still keeping him. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'll shock in here. So usually playing Dreadhorde Butcher on an empty board is, is kind of bad because they do get to just kill your Dreadhorde Butcher and then you don't get anything out of it. But the fact that we have Warboss to follow it up, I wanted them to use their removal spell there and not have one for Warboss. Double Shock. Get in here. Love mentoring onto Dreadhorde Butcher. That's pretty awesome. All about that. No. I'm not all about these coils, though. All right, well, we, we're looking to be in a good spot. They just have one card left. And we have a 1-1 one, one and a Phoenix. And they've already used two coils. I do not want them to have their firebrand and just be able to draw a three damage burn spell and kill my phoenix. Do not want that to happen, so we'll just use that thing. Keep the cast down because of Chain Whirler. Oh ooh boy. Another Phoenix. Looks like we're gonna be four and one here. Uh unless it's light of the stage. No, it'd be frenzy. Land, coil, coil. That would have been bad. That is true that I, I would be able to just, if they bolt my 4-3, then I'd be able to kill their 1-1. One, one. That's true. But then we wouldn't have been able to cast that. Uh... Probably just top deck. Anyway, we're four and one. We're on our final boss. We're getting our final boss playlist out here. Let's go. Let's get those final boss emotes in the chat. Let's 
Just the exact same hand. Just Mulligan this hand. A mountain and a bunch of cards that mountain doesn't cast. Seriously? Do I want second war boss or second duress? Well, I guess we'll go second duress. Well, they don't have any re relevant cards in hand. So we just need to draw a mountain. Draw a mountain. What? What are these things? Can't beat these cards. Bleh. Now nah, we got this. And here we go. We got this. Get him. 19. Mark it down. Eighteen. Nope. Yeah. Eighteen. Mark it down. Come on, war boss. Let's go. I don't really want to play Phoenix. It's only a matter of time. Would it make sense not to play Phoenix? So there's just one one butcher, one Teferi to get with Command the Dread Horde. We can beat a butcher and a Teferi. Shocking, too. Down to eight. I'm known for my excellent timing. Minus three on the butcher. Minus three butcher. Trust me, I have a plan. Rude. That didn't go 
according to plan. Alright, down to six. This isn't a fight you can win. The green cat. You need to slow down. Gotta play Warboss here so I can play Phoenix and Shock next turn. I have practiced again. Hone your prowess. Trick for this. Okay. Wow, doesn't even activate Ascanta. Maybe they forgot about Ascanta. I told y'all we had that game. Y'all didn't want to believe me. Never didn't have it. So if we bring in Elder Spell, Fry, we can cut uh, Shock and a strike and a couple strikes. And let's go from go from here. Uh, well, they had they had seal away also that we saw, so they could have like maybe they had another seal away or or to spark. But that was only their one. We've only we only saw one seal away, one to spark. So you know, assuming they could have had a second of either. Yeah, we mulled the five and kept a one lander, which is a swamp. And then we didn't play a land on turn two or a land on turn three. We didn't play our, our second land until turn four? Or was it turn five? No, it was turn four. Yeah, so turn four is whenever we played our second land. Oh, don't draw land. So basically, the two discard spells trade one for one. The uh, Teferi draws a card before we kill it. That this Teferi draws a card before we kill it. Rampage, of course, is sorcery. So we'll just get the Blood Crypt in here. this Chandra so that <clears throat> if their their play is Thief of Sanity, which I thought their play would be Thief of Sanity, we get to have the Chandra kill the thief. Mother Ludio 
always say, fight fire with fire. Now, if they if they go to fairy Tuck Chandra, let's skip okay. to the good part. Then we kill to fairy. If they go tick up, we can rampage it. Think on my feet. Let's get him. Now Teferi had five loyalty. Wouldn't die to a token there. No. Darn. Darn. Ugh. Esper, you're, you're supposed to be the one drawing all the lands. Esper, you play a whole lot more lands than I do. Rip to Phoenix. That's a great one. They need to start drawing some lands, not drawing to fairies. I know my responsibility. We need to move quickly. Why am I why do I keep drawing lands? Jeez. That's game. Time for plan B. I think it's just gonna draw too many cards. Keep up the pace. We have a bunch of Angrass Rampages, <clears throat> Elder Spells, Fries. This Fry doesn't quite kill this thing now, but I can attack it. Guess I keep keep it down for Fry, I suppose. Stop that! Now. No, Seal Away is not common. No time for a break. Hey, that was uncalled for. You know what? I'm not done yet. You want to save duress so you can play duress and like whenever you whenever you draw like your thing that, that you don't want to get countered, it's it's not really good to use duress immediately because you want to you want to wait till you draw your thing that can't be countered cuz if you use your duress too early, you may not take the counter spell cuz you they may just draw the counter spell after after you play your duress. Like they're drawing two cards a turn here, so it's it's best to be able to save duress and then uh, cast duress and. Uh, what do I have cast down in the deck? Get that out of here. Get this thing in, I guess. Guess we're playing these things because of Lyra. So you can play your duress uh, the turn that you're gonna play, like your Angrass Rampage, for example. Um. But the the only problem with that the the one problem with that is that changes the the math of that equation though is them playing discard spells. 
the fact that they're playing discard spells does make you want to get the card out of your hand, though, also. So there's there's a little bit of tension there. When you're playing against a control deck, if you're playing against a control deck that is not playing counter magic, then you want you want to hold your discard until you draw... Or Sorry, the, yeah, a, a control deck that's playing counter magic that's not playing discard. Hold your... Hold your discard until you draw your threat, your thing that you want to get through, and cast them both in the same turn. Yeah, Jolly, this is a donation deck. This is not a list that I put together. I don't have answers for why not any specific cards. I'm going to use that so that I have the Angrass Rampage to be able to make me sacrifice the Butcher to kill them. If we would have just drawn a land here, they would have been dead. We would have had lethal. Darn. We did not draw a land, though. MG what with the Tier 1 sub. Y'all get the hype boats in the channel. Thanks, 619 there. That is sub number 9 on the day. We are just one sub away from that sub goal. We need that sub hype. Help get us through these last four points of damage. I can play a Judith just to... Like, a Judith could just be a shock on this battlefield. But that doesn't kill them. So I'm not going to do that. Oh, come on, Butcher. Get him. Down to three. So close. All this exile. <laughs> Come on, war boss, get him. I think we got him. Cause yeah, we're not we're not drawing lands. So we're there we go. We got him. And that's gonna be the five win. Judith will finish this out. Good games. Hey, Night Owl. Thank you so much, Night Owl. Santa Night Owl gifting, gifting that sub, getting us there. Sunco. Enjoy the sub. All right, yeah, we got 40 gems. Not bad. Getting that five win dream. For us hitting that sub goal, we're going to crack a pack also. And that deserves it from the five win. Dream over here. Let me also update this that we got five wins. There we go. All right, let's see if we get a mythic. Hmm. Atemsis. All seeing. Uh, I was trying to think of some all seeing pun, but I couldn't see one in my bag of puns. All right, so good little league here. Um,. For a Rakdos mid-range deck, 
Didn't really miss Knight of the Ebon Legion too much. But yeah, nothing really too fancy going on here. I kind of wish that our sideboard had a little bit more grindy elements into it and not as much removal. Like, basically, the, the card I don't like in the sideboard is the Elder Spells. I think that we're probably just fine in the side... Like, I don't think we need Elder Spells, considering we got Angras Rampage, we have Fries to take out the other things. I, I think Elder Spell is my least favorite card in the sideboard. Um... Gosh, I realize it's just all 15 removal spells. Yeah, I I would wish like I wish we had like a like maybe two of the four mana Chandra or just another th like a a fourth copy of the the three mana Chandra and something else, maybe like two Angraths in the sideboard for like the those control matchups. Just bringing in some Angraths because that card's just incredible. Uh, definitely get. Something that just has to happen, though. You got to got to play nine nine mountain six swamp. Got to go there. That's that that needs to happen. But yeah, maybe instead of elder spells, something like that. Four mana Chandra um, or Angrath. Those are both very good cards. Um, I don't I don't really like Bloodfast. I think Bloodfast is worse than those options. Whenever. Like, you know, Esper's playing, like, the Othakayas. Like, going going down a whole lot of life is, is kind of rough against, like, the Othakayas and stuff. I'm not... And Bloodfast, like, takes a lot of mana. It's very slow. I'm, I'm not into the Bloodfast. No, I like the Rampages. The Rampages were good, honestly. Those were pretty good. I like those. Even if you if you really want to play removal, though, I think Bedevil's probably better than Elder Spell also. Bedevil can kill big things. I wouldn't mind having, like, some Legion's End instead of all these Moment of Cravings. Maybe a Legion's End or two. Maybe a Noxious Grasp. No Noxious Grasp is definitely better than Elder Spell also, as far as removal goes. That's going to be more versatile. There's just not lots of Planeswalkers running around. Noxious Grasp kills basically all the Planeswalkers that are running around between Teferi and Nyssa. But, but yeah, Rampage is versatile. There. So that's that's some a couple things that maybe in the sideboard to to uh, to consider, but I liked our deck. The duress main deck was awesome. You know, like we were we would not have won that game one against the Esper deck if it wasn't for duress. That's for sure. Duress was pretty awesome. But that's Rakdos mid range. Pretty sweet little deck here. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching Rakdos Midrange here, and I will see you for the next video.